any minute now I should be getting a call from my lender who I'm working with on a deal. It's not, I wouldn't say it's my lender, but it's my buyer's lender. They work for Wells Fargo. And uh, I talked about this deal before, but basically they didn't verify everything before the approval. So it turns out a lot of their cash is not usable for the deal. And they're trying to figure out if they're gonna be able to pull it together or not. So I'm hoping they give me a call and they say that they worked it out. I think he's having a bad day trying to figure this out. Um, but I hope he gives me a call with some solutions. I've already decided that if he says that they just can't make it work on their own, then I'm gonna be willing to sacrifice some of my commission to be able to pull this deal together and just apply that towards their closing costs. But I'm hoping that if I'm willing to do that, he's willing to split the difference with me and do something similar on his end as well. Because you know they're not happy with him. I probably wouldn't wanna spend more time on this deal after I've been working on it with him for a year. Um, but if I chose to, I could probably find them another house, but you know, my buyers are not happy with him. So I know that he's not getting any money if he can't pull this deal together. So I hope that he agrees that some money is better than no money. On top of that, uh, later today, I'm meeting a new client for some showings in a town called Austin, which is right on the border of Iowa and Minnesota. It's about a two hour drive away. And I know a lot of agents would not want to drive that far out. If it's anything more than an hour drive, they tend to refer that business out to somebody that's more local to the area. But I'm doing a deal in Mora right now, which is almost two hours north. Um, so why not do a deal two hours south? And if I was to have declined either of these deals and decided not to work with these clients because it's a two hour drive, I just would have felt dumb. I don't know how some of these agents, especially agents that are newer to the business and aren't working 40 or 60 hours a week of, of business that's close to them, how can you turn down an opportunity to get another deal done like that? Um, in this case, this guy was referred to me from an insurance agent and I'm hoping to build that professional relationship. So if I can knock this out of the park, then we're probably gonna get more business from that insurance agent. And even though this client is only you know, looking at houses that are like, some of them are like $50,000. I don't even know you can get a house for that cheap, but there's some decent looking places for that cheap down there in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it's not gonna be much money, but it's going to pay for the gas. And if I can get more referrals from the insurance agent, because I took care of this guy, and if I can get referrals from him, then it's gonna work out and it's gonna well compensate me for the amount of time that I'm spending going down to Austin. And I kind of like going that far away sometimes too i mean I, I like long drives i don't mind driving i like seeing places i've never seen before and uh if possible i try to make it a point to stop at like a local bar or restaurant some place i've never been uh, whenever i find myself in a town that is farther away from my normal stomping grounds so yeah we'll see how that goes i'm probably not gonna be back to like 10 p.m i'm gonna be super tired but uh it'll be worth it i think so see how that goes